I'm back up in the mountains and it's another cold rainy day, just the way I like them. I know people sometimes long for the spring and the summer and the warm weather and I enjoy that too. I just feel enjoy the season you're in, just enjoy it. So I'm enjoying this and I decided this morning that I would start some uh, crock pot mash, um, crock pot baked potatoes. And here are, the, here are the ingredients I'm going to be using. Of course, I have the crock pot. I have some uh, olive oil, some of my beloved Dollar Tree French fry seasoning, and I've already mixed that up in this bowl here, and six russet potatoes. I took the potatoes and I scrubbed them down and I poked holes in them with the fork already so they won't burst. I really like russets because um, they just seem to do best with the baking and with mashed potatoes. I don't really care for them in anything else because I find they fall apart a little bit, but for baking, they're awesome. So basically, what I'm gonna do right now is just take this French fry seasoning and the brush and just brush them. Just like that. do is put the camera down right now so I can turn them and finish brushing all sides. Here are the potatoes all basted. I brushed the uh, combination of olive oil and french fry seasonings all around it and now I'm going to put them in the crock pot. <clears throat> now there are schools of thought that say that you should be uh, wrapping these in foil. That just seemed wasteful to me. I don't understand it. I've never baked my baked potatoes in the oven with foil. I don't understand why it needs to be done now with these. So I just continued to search online till I found out that it really doesn't. So this is all you need to do is simply wash your potatoes, prick them with a fork or a knife in a couple places so they don't burn, and then for a nice crisp skin, a flavorful, uh, put on some salt and pepper or whatever seasonings you want, and olive oil. I'm now going to turn the um, crock pot onto high and we'll see how long it takes to get these nice and soft. Well it's been six hours. I had them on high and uh, Eddie came in from from outside where it's been cold and rainy and said he was hungry. I went to the crock pot and there they were ready to go. Look how soft they are. Plus the um, the olive oil and the seasonings that were on the outside of the potato have soaked in a little bit, making the potato inside really flavorful. I did have six potatoes, but he's already eaten two. <laughs> he put cheese and ham on them. Uh, he did make the comment that, you know, maybe I could have just put these in the microwave in a fraction of the time, but you can't do more than one uh, potato in the microwave for starters. And uh, it would have taken a long time to get all the potatoes we were going to eat. Plus, it's just really nice to wake up from a nap or from being outside or from running around all day and there your potatoes are, all of them ready to go and uh, just hot and delicious. So there we are, we've made um, delicious baked potatoes in the crock pot with no uh, foil. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy your baked potatoes and thank you for watching.